All right, so I feel like Onision by himself has gone fucking insane. Like the dude, the dude, the dude's just out of touch with reality at this point and is using whatever he has left on the internet to um, gain a little bit of money every week or so off what he does, which is going, which is literally having a mental breakdown on camera and just uploading that to YouTube and going, "Here, guys, here's my mental breakdown of the week." So yeah, let's talk about that. So, I feel like between Twitch and YouTube, um, Onision has definitely, his mental state has declined a lot from, like, the past couple of years to now. I don't know why now, but every time I hear Onision's voice, or, like, anybody speak of him, I just think of, man, he's probably talking some weird shit, trying to get views on Twitch or YouTube, and no wonder he doesn't have a partnership with the shit he talks about. So, we have an age problem in our country, America. If you're not 25, for a lot of you can't rent a rental car. If you're not 21, you can't smoke. You can't vape, right? Is that 21 now? I Are you so confused that you don't even know what the age for smoking and drinking and or renting a car is? That's really concerning. And the fact that this video already looks like he's gonna have a mental breakdown is not surprising. In some states, you can legally do it when you're 16, but in other states, you can legally do it at 17 to 18. Like, it's just so random. You I'm kind of dumbfounded the fact that he just said, why do we have to be a certain age to get married or do certain things? Probably because most people, when they're the age of 13 to 17, aren't very smart. There, there, there are a couple thousand smart people on the planet who are smarter than their actual age for, for the majority of the planet. People don't actually, like, for women, they're, they mature faster than men. It's a fact. Men, we don't fully mature to around, like, what, 25? So, the fact that we have, you would you want to take a comp, competent, competency test, whatever the fuck that is, a marriage competency test, to get married, but you'd rather not have a, le for a legal age to do something. Imagine a 13, 14-year-old man who, let's say, wants to go buy cigarettes, but because there's no law, he can just go buy cigarettes and kill himself slowly over time. Or, let's say, a 16-year-old girl wants to go buy alcohol, and there's no age limit. Um, that's the start of an alcohol problem, if she can't control it. Because, I mean, why would... The point of having these age limits is to stop people from doing things at a young age and ruining their lives. Like, most people, back in like the 90s, they all have lung problems because they smoked their entire lives starting at like the age of 12. And most of them are dying of lung cancer or something else. But no, we should just take away their age limits so that people can just do whatever the fuck they want because if they're competent enough to do so. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Like, if Barack Obama at age 16 wanted to rent a car, I would want to rent him a car because he, he's probably a competent human being. And if some 50-year-old men wanted to have sex with 50-year-old women, I think they should take competency tests because there's a lot that goes into that. Like, do you really want your dad's breeding? Hmm? I don't. I do not want my dad breeding. I mean, he made me. All right, if there's any car rental places out there, like I know there's a lot of them at like airports, but how how well would you, how much would you trust a 16 year old boy because he's so competent to rent a car from you and not crash that car because he doesn't have insurance or something? I would not rent a car to someone who's 16. No fucking way. When I got to here in Arizona, I had, no, I had to wait till my car got shipped over to me. Like, I'm not about to, give some 16 year old kid a rental car that costs what, whatever amount of money just because he's competent enough like i feel like if the age has to be 25 to rent a car because you like you have your insurance all that stuff and you can, you're legally like i guess bound to that car like you can um you have responsibility to that car not to crash it not to do certain things with said car and then if they fill the gas up before you bring it back to the establishment I feel like a 16-year-old or whatever would not remember to do that and or is not competent enough to do said things. Hey there. I actually look okay in this lighting. That's, you know, I have a self-esteem and it's not always fantastic. I wanted to talk about YouTube. I blamed YouTube for a long time. I was mad at YouTube. I think a lot of us were. Did you just say you were mad at YouTube? I wonder why. Because um, YouTube doesn't like your content because you're a fucking horrible human being. Because you constantly treat people like shit on a daily basis. Like, you make your subscribers feel like shit. Because if they don't give you money, then you don't, then they don't deserve your love, right? But if they give you money, then they're the best people on the planet. 
But I wanted to show you guys this. I did some analytical stuff. I looked at graphs and charts and so forth. I think those are the same thing. And I started to realize the more I looked into stuff that YouTube is not the problem. I am the problem. I am the problem. Did this man just admit to being the problem as to why YouTube doesn't fucking like him? Like, th it took him how many years to figure that out? Like, I actually, I actually used to watch this man. I used to watch every video he made. And then over the years, he got worse. And the fact that he's just now realizing why, what the problem is, and it's, it, he's the problem. How are you just now figuring that out? That's insane. But anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, smash that like button. Um, it greatly helps me out, and I really appreciate it. And uh, if you guys want to see more stuff like this, smash that like button. Hit that notification bell at the very bottom right-hand corner to get notified of all my new videos. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great one. Peace out.